Dr. No is a name that sends chills down the spine of anyone who has heard of him. He is a terrifying figure, known only as a serial killer who has managed to evade the law for years. The name Dr. No is inspired by the infamous James Bond villain, and it is clear that the real-life killer was just as sinister and cunning as his fictional counterpart. The killer's spree began in 2005, when the body of Mary Anderson was discovered in California. Her body had been strangled, and she was found in the trunk of her car. It was clear from the beginning that this was no ordinary murder. The killer had gone to great lengths to hide the victim's body and avoid detection. Just a few months later, the remains of another woman were found in a remote area of Nevada. Laura Bradbury had also been strangled, and her body was left in a desolate location. It was clear that the killer was targeting women, and that he had no qualms about leaving their bodies in places where they would not easily be found. The following year, in 2006, the body of Violet Taylor was found in Georgia. Like the previous victims, she had been strangled. It was becoming clear that the killer was moving around the country, and that he had no specific targets in mind. He seemed to be choosing his victims at random. In 2006, the killer struck again. The body of Martha Jefferson was found in Louisiana, and once again, the victim had been strangled. It was clear that the killer had no specific MO or signature, and that he was able to adapt his methods to fit the situation. Later that same year, the body of Hannah Connor was found in Texas. She had also been strangled, and it was clear that the killer was becoming bolder and more confident. He seemed to be getting away with murder, and there was no sign that law enforcement was any closer to catching him. In 2006, the body of Grayson Guillen was found in Mississippi. The killer had struck again, and once again, he had left no clues or evidence behind. It was clear that he was an expert at covering his tracks and that he was determined to continue his killing spree for as long as possible. The last known victim of Dr. No was Walter Green, whose body was found in June 2007 in Georgia. Like the previous victims, he had been strangled. The discovery of Green's body led investigators to link his murder to the previous six as they all shared similar characteristics. Despite extensive investigations by law enforcement agencies, no arrests have been made in connection with the murders. The case remains unsolved, and Dr. No remains at large. The killer's methods and motives remain unknown, and the lack of any discernible pattern or connection between the victims has made it difficult for investigators to make any progress in the case. The case has generated significant media attention, with various theories and rumors circulating about the identity of the killer. Some have suggested that the murders may have been the work of a cult or other organized group, while others have speculated that the killer may have been a lone wolf with a deep-seated hatred of women. The case has also been the subject of numerous books, articles, and television shows. In 2010, a documentary titled The Real Doctor No aired on Investigation Discovery, exploring the case and interviewing family members of the victims. The documentary highlighted the frustration and sadness felt by the families of the victims, who have been left without any answers or closure. Despite the lack of progress in the case, law enforcement agencies continue to investigate any new leads or information that may emerge. The case remains one of the most perplexing and disturbing unsolved mysteries in recent.